Okay, so let me just get into this because watching the film, I was completely stressed out. I mean, you guys stressed the bloody hell out of me. I had to have <laughs> a glass of wine after I saw the film because I was like... We recommend people cool. drink during the film, actually. So okay. So, it helps. <laughs> so tell me about the suspense level in the film. I mean, it was driving me crazy. Oh, great. Well, cool. the, 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 what we wanted to do was, was to have a long, slow burn up to something that just was then batted to hell. Uh, and there was, there was a lot of risk in that because you have to really care about this character. That's why I want an actor like, like Russell. That's why I wanted Russell because he's a man who can, who can just, who forces you to empathize with his character. He just, he's, you're not going to have a choice. You know, you, you put the camera on him and, and you're going to care. And for you, what, what did you, how do you... Well, it was a great script to read, man, you know. It's really intelligent and it's very complex. And, you know, um, and all the stages of the dilemma that John Brennan faces uh, are on the page. So, um, I, you know, I just really enjoyed reading it. And, you know, if I get affected by a, a script at that level, then that's the one I want to do. And one of the things that struck me the most is John's relationship with his son. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was such a close bond. And I know you're a father yourself. So mm -hmm. empathizing with your character, what was that like for you? Well, he's a really nice little boy, Ty Simpkins, who Terrific played actor. Luke, you know, and a very good actor, yeah. And, you know, we, we just spent time together and we communicated very easily. So, um, you know, I'm not a, a big believer in that, you know, W.C. Fields thing. I never have been, you know, yeah. I've been very lucky with the kids and, and animals that I've worked with. I mean, obviously, when a tiger jumps on you and, and when you're in the <laughs> arena, you know, that yeah. can be a little rough, and, you know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but I've, uh, I've found maybe that's a difference in the age, too, you know, mm -hmm. because back when W.C. Fields said that, we weren't in that kind of popular culture. Uh, you know, saturation. And also, there was you know? there was a whole different era of, of child stars. You know, the, the ones who were the child, the the, the, the parents who mm. would who would rear their kids. And to now they're the actually, star. you know, their kids are actually coming up as actors. Yeah. You know, so they know what the job is and they know what the yeah, responsibilities exactly. are. As an actor and a director, you know, who both of you have been in numerous films, do you guys ever learn anything from these young kids that you maybe hadn't oh, noticed yes. before? The honesty that they bring. Uh, just, I was so impressed with Ty. Uh, that he just you knew I'd, I'd say action. He just, he's a happy little kid. And he had to be sad, morose for most of this film. I'd say action, he just said, he'd deal with everything very honestly and very simply. And so there's a, there's a, there's a great simplicity that, that uh, children bring. Mm. You can go on the internet and pretty much learn how to become a yes, criminal. You can. That's what I did. I went on and researched. And uh, if you actually go online, you can find you know, basically the things that I found. We recreated them, but that's, that's I just said, how, what would I do? I'd go online, I'd, I'd start checking things out, and that's what you found. Does it ever scare you guys in a way? Yeah, <laughs> I found it, how do you make a key to get in any lock? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Like, uh, I, I mean, I didn't even know what a bump key was. Did you no, guys, no, did you know no, any of this stuff no, before? No, no, I find that's what was fun for me, reading this yeah. script. You and know? then recreating uh, it and I, I doing it? I wouldn't recommend that you do the tennis ball thing unless you know exactly the years and, and makes yeah, it. It only works on certain model cars. That it refers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that true? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, you find it online. Yeah, it's a certain type of lock, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, you know, the relationship between you and Elizabeth, there's so many scenes that are so poignant. One that st sticks out in my mind is the scene where you guys don't even talk to each other. There's a couple scenes like that, but yes, in I, the prison. it's one of my favorite scenes. For, for you filming that scene, what is that like getting into that kind of zone of just, I mean, your wife is there, you're not even talking to each other, just, you know, expressions. What's that like for you? Well, it's just you know, all part of the gig that you're doing, man. You know, and and the the energy level that you that you bring to it. You know, I mean, as, as I said, you know, when you get confronted with a script that is so rich, you know, it's just f from that perspective. I mean, you know, you get to see it in very simple form, but it's a much more expansive thing for for me when I'm when I'm doing it. But you know, when you when you start with great source material, you know, it's all about in, in enjoyment, really. Do you think we all have it in us to bust someone out of prison? No. I mean, are we, are we capable? No. I really wouldn't recommend anybody yeah. tries it. Yeah. But Particularly not Maybe with sometimes. the American jail system. It's, it's uh, security brutal. level is pretty heavy. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's almost an impossible task. And, sh you know, shooting in Pittsburgh, so many bridges, tunnels. I know you shot in a real prison. What yeah. was it like being in that city with all these, these sort of, I can't imagine, there's a lot of maybe obstacles shooting. Such an amazing great. backdrop. Loved shooting in mm. Pittsburgh. The, the, beautiful the place. People, yeah, beautiful place. The people were wonderful to yep. us. And, uh, and, it, and it became an own, its own character in the film, as you think you see. So, and for John, you know, he's really a good guy that's forced to do bad things. Do you think human nature, do we have that, you know, if we could, we'd have to do that, that sort of thing? 
what did Walt Whitman say? If, I, if, if the fact that you, you, I'm large, I contain multitudes. You know, you, I think we, we all contain these, these contradictions that can do, we can do anything in the right circumstances. And what do you guys hope people come away with feeling after seeing this film? I know how I felt. I needed a drink. That's how I felt. Mm -hmm. But what do you hope audiences feel after seeing this film? Start with Russell. It's really during the film that we want to feel something after well, the film. Yeah, but, and but after the film that you, you want them to ask, be asking each other the question. Yeah. You know, would you do that for me? Yeah. You know, I mean, if you, if the majority of the audience feels that they want to sit down and have that conversation, whether it's over a drink and, you know, as light as it, it may be, I mean, that's, um, that would be a, a, an indicator that the, the story is successful. 